Hey guys, Joe Pye here at Advanced Innovations. Welcome back to the shop. You know, if you've ever had to face off a large piece of material in your lathe and then check it to see whether or not it's flat and you don't have a parallel surface on the other side, well then you might be in for some headaches as far as dragging that indicator across the side you want to check because there's no reference as far as is it level, is it flat, is it parallel, what's going on. So I'm going to show you a way to inspect a part that if you do have a large surface and you are looking for flat, not parallel, parallel comes later, but if you're looking for flat, I'm going to show you a foolproof method to inspect this part and find out whether or not the part you just faced off is flat. Let's take a walk over to the surface plate and I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, the inspection challenge for today is to find out whether or not this plate is flat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drag an indicator across it side to side and I hope that you can see this. This is a brown and sharp best test uh, half thou increment indicator. Let's set this up on zero or close to it. There you go. And we'll just push it right across the center. Okay, now in a situation like this, this is a really good opportunity to tell you when you have a measurement where the indicator doesn't move, you say nobody's that lucky, right? Grab a hold of your indicator and give it a wiggle and make sure that you're not maxed out on the range of motion of that indicator. But I would say going across the center from A to A, we're looking pretty good as far as zero is concerned. So I can assume with a great deal of uh, security that A to A is not only flat, but it's parallel to the other banking side. Now I'm going to check B to B. All goes well, there should be zero as well. Well, we're starting off about a thou low on the indicator, climbing to zero to the center, and we're about a, whew, a couple of tenths high on the far side. So we do have a difference. So is this side flat? Who knows if this side is flat? It certainly looks good this way, but anytime something pivots, naturally you're gonna have a common axis and one side is going to be high, one side is going to be low. So chances are this is flat, only it's sitting at a wedge. So how do you check it? Let me pull back on the camera here for a second and I will show you the setup. This is the kind of little nifty attachments that you're going to want to have if you're going to have you checking material to see if it's parallel, or excuse me, to see if it's flat. These are homemade towers, about an inch and a half across the bottom, about three inches tall. Turned down and ground at the same time so that they're all the exact same height. Now while the indicator is set up from the previous operation, I will drag that indicator across the top of these and see how it looks. I like it. I would say as far as arguing is concerned, we're in. Let me reconfigure my indicator. I will put this plate on these pins and show you how it's done. Stay tuned. Okay, the process here is simple. Take your three pins that you know are the same height, once you've checked them, verified that. Put them in a three-point shape and set your part right on top of them. Now you have a parallel surface of your granite going up against three known standoffs and the bottom of your plate, which you hope is flat, will now be the parallel surface parallel to your granite. Configure your indicator on a shorty base such that you can now get underneath the part and sweep the entire part.
I always like to check the part while dragging the needle. It's just a personal preference here. I don't know if you can see that from where you're at, but it's about, oh, it's not even more than a couple of tenths above the zero. And we're coming across and we're staying right in there. It's a good idea to put your indicator back and forth on your pins. Verify that you have good registration with the part. You do not want to see this indicator move when it's in the vicinity of your pins. Well, if I was the inspector here, fellas, I would think I would sign off and say that this part is flat within about six tenths. This is a very good way to do this. It's not a very difficult setup, and the one thing you want to do is make sure that there's no squeeze marks from your chuck that may have distorted the edge of your part, and you're registering on those, so keep the tips of these uh, towers inbound about a half an inch or so. And when you put them away, protect both ends, because this can be treated as a ins piece of inspection equipment and you want it to hold up. So if you do a lot of this work, make yourself some towers. Uh, one, two, three blocks will work in a pinch, but the less surface contact you have on the top here, the better you're going to have. So shorty indicator, match towers, check it from underneath. Thanks for watching.